Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the show. Hope you're doing excellent. We're looking at 25 things you didn't know about Germany. Sounds really fun. I'm all about facts. I'm all about trivia things like this. What's there to say? Let's get straight into it. This is from Alux, and this will be linked in the description down below. Make sure to check them out. Let's see how many of these I know, or maybe I don't know any of these. Let's see. Currently Always considered the alert. most capitalist country in the world, a land of efficiency, Germany's the most capitalist country in the world. I feel like the United States is like the epitome of capitalism. We're so capitalist that it's that it hurts. <laughs> Stands out between know. the rest of the countries as a suitable financial model and also as an example of recovering from a dark past. Here are some things you might not know about Germany. I mean, there's totally no doubting Germany has an extremely strong GDP. You know, lots of money flowing in. It, it is an excellent country, for sure. I just didn't Number know that one. they were the most capitalist. With 81 million people, Germany has the largest population in the European Union. I forget that. I knew that they had more than I thought when I've learned on this channel. I didn't realize they were the biggest in the EU. Wow. Number two. Okay. Berlin is nine times bigger than Paris and has more <laughs> bridges than Venice. Holy smokes. Number three. Jeez. In Germany, there is no punishment for a prisoner who tries to escape from jail because it is a basic human instinct to be free. Hey, you know what? That's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, yeah, most people, I think like 99 out of 100 people that end up in jail, they're going to want to be free, right? No one wants to spend their time in there. Now, I understand, you know, you do the crime, you do the time, that type of deal. And, and maybe there's the odd man out along the way that wants to be in jail for some reason. I don't know. But uh, I feel like if you're clever enough to get out, then, then you shouldn't be punished for that. I mean, they might find you down the road again and put you back in if you're serving a sentence for something else, obviously. But you shouldn't be punished just for the trying to get out part. I mean, yeah, that is human instinct, right? That's pretty clever. Number four. The first magazine ever seen was launched in 1663 Whoa. in Germany. First magazine ever was from Germany? How do they even, how do they even track that? 1663 that seems way too early for a magazine right how like how was that even a thing wow even google says the same thing i typed in first magazine ever and it says the german uh i am not going to try and pronounce that i will <laughs> i will not subject myself to that yet i would have to practice some basic german words before i try this um but it translates to edifying monthly discussions started by johann Riest a theologian and poet of Hamburg. Let's see what it shows for images. Obviously, images are going to be weird because I don't think this was it, right? <laughs> I don't think in 1663 they had an image of a car uh, chilling, you know, in what looks to be Switzerland. I don't think we're going to find a picture of it. That sucks. Obviously, you know, like none of these are the ones from 1663. <laughs> but yeah, that is really crazy number five after world war one there were so few men in germany that Whoa. only one in three women would find a husband dang those number guys six. huh man we're in high demand in germany it is illegal to run out of fuel on highways yeah now that makes sense i i would uh, hope you know breaking down isn't illegal because you can't prevent that right cars break that's uh the annoying part of cars that even car guys have to deal with but running out of fuel i suppose could be a fine because it's preventable, right? I mean, you can't prevent if your car breaks down or you get a flat tire. That type of stuff can happen to anyone. But I, I suppose that, I mean, that seems harsh. Don't get me wrong, because it's not illegal to run out of fuel here on the highway. But I think I can see that being a thing because, A, you know, you have sections of the Autobahn that are very high speed limit, at, as in no speed limit. So that's very dangerous to have cars parked on the side. And then, yeah, the, I think it's just simply the fact that you can prevent running out of fuel. You know, when you get in your car, you should always check if you have gasoline. If you don't, go get some before you get on the highway. So that makes sense. Even though I think it's a little harsh, I can see why they do it. Yeah. Wow. Number seven. From 1989 to 2009, about 2,000 schools were closed in Germany because of the scarcity of children. Wow. The general population is also in decline by 2 million in the last decade. Really? That's just weird. Huh? Number 8. Hamburgers got their name from Hamburg, <laughs> Germany. 
I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. Um, it makes sense, right? Hamburgers? Hamburg. Wow, that's uh, that's so obvious that it wasn't obvious. Number nine. <laughs> okay, In 2014, cool. Germany officially abolished college tuition fees. Wow. Even for international students. Even for students. internationals? Is that true? Jeez, that is incredible. Wow. Number 10. 60% of YouTubers, 1,000 most popular videos, are blocked in Germany. Why? I've only heard of media being blocked in, like, you know, obvious countries like North Korea or China. I've never heard of this before. That, I mean, that's kind of a good chunk of, like, big, famous YouTube videos. I mean, mostly seem like they're music videos. I don't know if these are the ones that they're actually referring to or if this is generic B-roll, but... Um, that is a lot. Wow. I'm glad you guys are seeing me, right? I mean, come on, popular YouTuber here. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not in the top uh, 10 viewed YouTubers in history or anything. I guess it's confusing, like, what can be seen and what can be seen. Or, yeah. So if anyone wants to weigh in on that, let me know. Around 5,500 World War II bombs are discovered in Germany every year and diffused. An average of 15 per day. Jeez. Holy smoke. Number 12. Who the hell is in charge of that? Damn. No thank you. <laughs> 1917, Germany invited Mexico to join World War I by attacking the U.S. in order to recover the lost oh. territories of Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Wow. I Number did not 13. know that. Fanta originated in Germany as a result of difficulties importing Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II. No kidding. Fanta? Wow, I didn't even know that was German at all. Uh, I actually don't drink that. I, I just, I don't know why, I just don't. But I think I've tried Fanta Orange like a long time ago, and it's, it's good. It's just not my thing. But it is very popular here in the United States, and uh, I, I had no idea about its origin at all. Number 14. During World War I, the King of England and Tsar of Russia and the Emperor of Germany were all first cousins. Hmm. That's Number 15. weird. There's a build That's a little more than a coincidence, I reckon. Yeah. ...project in Berlin, Germany, where they want Jeez. to build a Christian church, a mosque, and a synagogue all in one. Wow, that's interesting. Number I've 16. never heard of that concept Forming the Nazi, Nazi salute in Germany is a criminal offense punishable by up to three years in prison. Wow, understandable. Number 17. <laughs> On average, German women gave birth to their first child at 29 years old. 29, okay. Number 18. Nearly a third of Germany is powered by renewable energy. That's Number amazing. 19. That part, that part's amazing. That That's one thing that's frustrating to me is that uh, I feel like, at least from my small scope here in the U.S., I feel like we should have so much more solar and uh, renewable energy source. I, I don't understand why. I feel like it's a no-brainer. You know, I know here it probably has to do with electric companies and lobbyists and all this BS, but uh, you would think we could go solar and, and have a lot more efficient renewable energy uh, ways of doing things, but for some reason we don't. I know I, I was really uh, impressed and happy to learn that, like, New Zealand is, like, almost all uh, renewable energy, like... Uh, Almost the whole country is solar, which is really freaking cool. And, uh, I mean, a third of Germany, that that is really impressive and uh, definitely a step in the right direction. That's what I think most countries, if they're able to, need to uh, work towards. And it's frustrating that that's not more of a push here. By renewable energy. Number 19. Germany and Japan have the lowest birth rates in the world. Really? Now, why is that? Number 20. 1% of Germany's population is genetically immune to HIV. What? No. How does that work? That's impressive. Dang. But 21. Okay. The Nazi official uniforms were designed by Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss? They're a... Uh, wow, that's... So they were wearing designer uniforms? <laughs> Whoa, uh, isn't, isn't Hugo Boss like a sort of high-end clothing? Yeah, Hugo Boss. Uh, they are headquartered in Germany, okay. And yes, they did uh, manufacture those. It says it right there. Yeah, they make, um, as you can see here, clothing. I mean, pretty expensive. So I, I would say high-end clothing, right? 70 bucks for a hoodie, <laughs> 300 for this coat. So yeah, they're... Uh, and they also make 
Cologne, right? I think I've seen that as well. Okay. Yeah, I didn't didn't know that. Number twenty-two. In Berlin, you can find the world's largest、Whoa. zoo. Where have I heard? I learn a lot at once, and sometimes it gets mixed together in my head. I feel like I heard in another video that Austria has the largest zoo in the world. Turns out I was onto something here, guys. But I was a little bit off. Austria actually has the oldest zoo in the world, not the biggest zoo in the world. So just remembered it wrong in my head. But that was in a previous video of mine. That sounds really cool, though. By the way, so I might have to take a look at、uh, both of those. The tradition of decorating the Christmas tree started in Germany. That's cool! Wow, that's、Number、a good 24. one. Number twenty-four. Apparently, in 1960s Germany, lighting a condom on fire was illegal. Two of the Beatles、uh, members found that out the hard way and got deported from Germany. Oh my God! <laughs> Number twenty-five. That's wild. Germany contributed with some of the world's greatest inventions,、yes. such as the automated calculator, the TV, the pocket watch, paraffin, the Walkman, and the LCD screen.、Damn. So thank you, Germany. Thank you, Germany. Yeah, great inventions. I have learned. I feel like just scratched the surface on. In another video, and、uh, yeah, you guys have invented a lot that、uh, we all interact with every day. So that was really cool. That was 25 things you didn't know about Germany.、Uh, to be fair, let me see. I think almost all of them I didn't know. So I guess I'm a little bit shocked that I didn't know any of those. That was a good list.、Uh, I would love to hear your comments on this one. Were interesting to you, and maybe you didn't know which of these. Maybe you have a problem with. Maybe they're not accurate. You know things like that. Please tell me down below, and keep up your awesome suggestions.、Uh, much more to come, guys. Please throw a like on there if you enjoyed this, and subscribe to be part of this amazing community. I've really got some awesome videos coming up this week, so I hope to see you there.、Uh, my name is Ian. You watch the IW Rocker, and until next time, y'all. Catch you later.